boyfriends will make you smile. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, hit a like, hit a subscribe, please do this now. Let's have some fun, let's have some fun while we talk and share. And enjoy our show, enjoy our show, we'll have a great time. mothers living on earth and in heaven. One, two, three, go. Our dear and loving mother, you are loved by us so much. Your caring ways bring us peace on earth. Such peace no one else can give. Our dear and loving mother, you are loved so very much. You mean the whole wide world and more to us. We are so proud to be your children. Thank you for giving us life. Love you, my mother. Welcome to Mary Ella Show. Yes, welcome to our Mother Day Show. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Yes, happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful moms mm -hmm. and all the ones in heaven. Definitely. Yes. Ella, I like And it. our grandmothers, too. Oh, and yes. our great-grandmothers. Yes. yes. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, Mother's Day. I like to read about Mother's Day to everybody. The origin of Mother's Day as we know, took its place in the early 1900s from a woman named Anna Jarvis. It took a while for Mother's Day to be an official holiday, but in 1914, President Woodrow Wilson signed a proclamation making Mother's Day an official holiday to take place the second Sunday of May. Well, how nice of him. And we've been celebrating Mother's Day ever since. Yes. So, um, and I will finish the last paragraph. And Anna put Mother's Day on the calendar as a day dedicated to expressing love and gratitude to mothers, acknowledging the sacrifices women make for their children. We know all yeah. about those sacrifices. Yes, we you do. You and I. And yay definitely. to all of us. <laughs> Mother's Day tea time to today. Yes. And today, mm -hmm. just for you, Ella, last time we had our spring show, I made Lipton tea. And oh, I know yes. you said you like vanilla, so today oh, we're yes. celebrating with vanilla. I Decaffeinated tea. Decaffeinated too. Wow. Yes, Thank you, Mary. You I love that kind of tea. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And so, uh, so uh, uh, yes, earlier today we went out for a wonderful lunch. Oh, yes, we, we did. Had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. Wonderful time. Great anyways, food. Happy yes, Mother's yes, Day. Happy Mother's Day. We're drinking tea, but um, I would like to mention to everybody what my doctor said about drinking tea. When I was younger, when I was in my 30s, I, um, I was working as a realtor at the time, mm -hmm. and I used to drop my children off to school in the morning, yep. then I would go home, have my breakfast, get ready, I'd get ready for work, for office, and, uh, and then I would sip my tea. And one time I bought the package, the uh, package of assorted teas. I was home by myself, but thank God what my aunt told me. She told me that whenever I drink chamomile, chamomile tea, chamomile tea, that's supposed that to be nice, very relaxing. good for your skin. And, so, it, and, it, and it, it relaxes you. When people have a hard time sleeping, they take, they actually drink oh, chamomile yes, tea. Yes. So, um, so I used to, she said, well, when you make your tea, then when the tea bag cools off, just take it, just rub it on your cheeks, it'll feel so good. And I got in the habit of doing it. I would, uh, I would, well, after, after my tea was all done, 
I would take the tea bag and kind of run it on my cheeks and thank God I was doing that. But you know what? That's actually, they, you know, they do that for beauty too. Really? With cold tea bags, they'll put them on their eyelids. Like oh, she you, said it's not good for the eyelids. She told me that. Really? Tea, I've heard that, that help like with like chamomile. under. Oh, under here, but not on your eyes. Oh, not chamomile, not chamomile, but oh, regular, regular tea bags. I oh, take really? that back. But not chamomile. She said chamomile just to use it on your skin. Oh. So, thanks to my aunt, I got it, I'm in the habit of doing that. Thank yeah. God that I did. Because I was home by myself because I was having breakfast and I yeah. and that and that was apple and spice I believe that that particular so oh, I, I don't have allergies to apples I don't have allergies to blueberries and I, and the spices you know cinnamon and some other spices and it doesn't even, I don't even I didn't even look at the ingredients or anything like that mm -hmm. so so I made my tea and and I this is what I did I made my tea and uh, that uh, apple and spice the one that um, that I never tasted it before. And then I took a few sips like this, and it tasted not really, really, really well. And then I took the tea bag, and I started running. I went like this with the tea bag, and then like this on my nose, and it started stinging my no my my face. That's an allergy. Big time allergy. I had uh, whatever it was, some kind of spice that I had very uh, severely uh, se severely allergic to it. So I ran into, because right away it started stinging, I ran in the kitchen, I'm looking in the mirror, and it's all swelling up over here, right over here. Within, and I started putting cold water on yes. it. Yes. But then the inside of my mouth started swelling up too. That's I took this. That's and dangerous. at this point, thank God we had a freezer. Mm -hmm. So I opened up the freezer, it was so hot, all of a sudden I felt like passing out. Just a little bit of tea, like that, like two sips, three sips. Wow. Of, and I opened up the freezer. I had put my, I stuck my head in there, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Because I'm going to pass out, and I'm here all by myself. My husband was at work, yeah. all by myself. And then I drank a whole glass of ice water, like this, the, the biggest glass I had. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then I started feeling better, and I said, well, I'm going to go for a walk outside. If I pass out, at least somebody will see me. So, and then I mentioned this to my doctor. And she said, you have to be, you should be careful when it comes to teas. She said, especially herbal teas. Because there hasn't been that much research done because of limited funds. Not that much when it comes to herbal teas. Well, you know, as for myself, when I had out, when I came down with dermatitis mm -hmm. quite a few years ago, um, I found out I was actually allergic to cinnamon. Oh, I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is yeah, good for you. Morning, maybe you're even allergic to it. No, 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 not no. cinnamon. They're all the spices. I don't know what they were. But that was just That's assorted crazy. teas. It was just one of those teas with fruit tea with the spices. Wow. And I couldn't believe that. And I was only in my 30s at the time. So oh, I mentioned it to my doctor. And very small. It's not, I don't put that much. It's just a tiny teaspoon. That's the reason why I put three of them. I usually put one and a half or a cup like that. And so... Um, so what happened, I told my doctor about it, yeah. and this is what she said. She said, you have to be very careful when it comes to especially herbal teas. But that yeah. was not even, that was just assorted fruit teas. It was not even uh, herbal tea. And so you have to be careful. Just yeah. be, and also, just because you're not allergic today to the tea, you, oh, it, allergies can happen overnight. So yes, always what do. you do, you take the tea, and what I would do, and just just put it just a little bit on to find out if it's just going to be burning. If yeah. it's burning your face, that means you have a very, you're Definitely. very extremely yes. allergic yes, to yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. And and uh, so be very careful when it comes to. And uh, and so I wanted to bring that up because I want all the moms and especially some women also. Uh, have tea time like I do with my granddaughter. So you yeah. have to be very careful. Talking very careful. about that, mm -hmm. Nella, uh -huh. today is Mother's Day. Well, mm -hmm. Not officially today, but it's coming very soon. Well, we're celebrating um, it. Yeah, we're celebrating mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. What are some of the dearest memories you have of your mom? Or what are some of your best Mother's Days you ever had? Well, probably making cookies. I vividly remember when we were making cookies, but then my mom became very busy, and then she was not making as much yeah. cookies with me as much. So I would say that uh, that was those were the sweet moments I would spend with my mother baking. Oh, so I what remember about you, your mother. Mary? Your mother was a very sweet lady. Oh, well, your mom very was too. She was such a sweet. Oh, heart. my mother and oh, I. Well, they're both in heaven now. Yes, they are. And, yeah. Um, my grandmother, great grandmother, yours. Yes, there, yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, my mother and I, we were like best girlfriends. You were very oh, close. We were so, yeah. so, so close, and we yeah. still are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, we had a lot of good times, but um, 
I can't say one in particular, mm -hmm. but um, we did a lot of like girlfriend things. We went to the mall and went oh, shopping yes. and out to lunch. Oh, yes. And it's sort of uh, funny. And she mm. was a lovely person. I just mm. loved everything about her. Yes. But uh, but as for me for Mother's Day now, mm -hmm. um, I just love all my Mother's Days with my kids. Um, I like when they make me breakfast in bed. Aww. And oh, just you get spending the Mother's yeah, Day. Oh, yeah, just spending the day with them and having a great time. And so, yeah. But I think with all mothers, you know, we all mm -hmm. enjoy our time with our families, our yeah. children. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people. On Mother's Day, we may have some me time, which is nice, too. Oh, so, yes, yes. I mean, you can celebrate it any way you want. Oh, There's yeah. no right or wrong way. My daughter was just asking me yesterday. We had a little get-together for Patriot's Day. And she was asking me, so, Mom, let me know where you want to go for Mother's Day. What should I should get you? She's only thinking about purchasing oh, something nice. or taking. But I think I'm just going to have her take me out for for breakfast because it gets too crowded. The restaurants get too crowded. Yes, and yes. you know, since we do mm -hmm. not cook on Mother's Day, so oh we yes, no, no. I have a very neat thing I like to share with everybody, and Ella's oh, going to yes. share too. Mm -hmm. It's an arts and crafts project mm -hmm. on Mother's Day. Instead of cooking, you can maybe spend time with the kids working mm -hmm. on something. So I'm actually going to show you up this picture. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm. This there you go. is the picture right here. You can make beautiful vases, or you can use this a, a mason jar to like put pencils or anything you'd like. So I mean, you can paint them. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you like. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, I have this jar right here. You see it with the lights? That looks so pretty, Mary. You yeah. hand painted it, huh? Hand painted it. Well, oh, I yes. didn't do that one. I actually bought it. Oh, you bought the jar? Or was I bought painted? the jar. It was already painted. Oh, that looks painted. really pretty. And all you have to do with a jar like this is make a hole, and you just put a string of lights in there. And to make a hole like that, all you have to do, I actually just went on YouTube, and they said you, all you need to do is use a diamond drill bit. And um, you just drill the hole, and you can paint it, make any type of designs. Um, you can use stickers. You could um, paint designs on it. Here's some other ones that I had. I stuck pictures on the inside, and I just painted it, and I put, like, day at the beach. Or, like, this one is of my wedding day with the in-laws and my parents. And it's you beautiful. see, you put flowers in there, anything you like. It's a fun activity to do with the kids. And like oh, I said, yes. stickers, or you can even like um, glue like little jewels mm -hmm. or whatever you like with that. But um, yeah, you can decorate it any way you'd like. Oh, now, yes. Ella did her jar. Actually, she did a vase. Well, it's a vase, yes. Um, my daughter... I think a few years ago when she had, she purchased, a, I think, a fish or I'm not sure, beta fish or something like that. And so she got this uh, pretty vase. And she, you see, she did this part, really very creative, very artistic right over here. But my granddaughter, my sweetheart granddaughter and I, uh, she loves uh, Peppa Pig right there. Aww, so she, so uh, So she and I were decorating it. Decor Saturday, we were decorating a couple of days ago, nice. yes. So we, uh, she and I, we were, uh, she, she chose the, the stickers she wanted. Some of these are rubberized and other ones are paper yeah. ones. Yeah, the, she loved the rainbows and the unicorn and the bunny rabbit. Well, they didn't have any squirrels. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, so yeah, the moon, the sun. And so she decorated, she and she I. She did a great and job. And the hearts and the... And the uh, and and of course uh, the shooting star in the clouds she and the did. elephant she with did the trunk really up. Cute job. I know. Oh yes. Yeah. So it looks very very pretty, yeah. and she was so happy about it. She was showing it off to her mom and her auntie Alonia, and she she absolutely loves doing artwork. Love like that. That's Anything that has to do with arts and crafts and. She loves painting and stickers and yeah, so it's so well. This is now going to bring us to our next segment. Oh, yes. See you in a little bit. Cheers.
at this wonderful restaurant here for our Mother's Day's lunch. Oh, Happy yes. Mother's Day to all, all of us moms. Today we are oh, having, baby. what are we having, Ella? We're having natural spring water today. Sarah told us, no wine. Still, it's called. Since yeah. 1872. Yes, well, Sarah how told wine, us still. We'll have wine later on for our show. But yeah. here we go for now. Cheers, Cheers. Ella. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. You can tell we're in a beautiful outdoor dining area. Look, yeah. there's Ella. And it's just beautiful with the trees, oh, and they the got looks beautiful. dining, the tables and chairs, and then we're inside this tent here. And flowers. We got tulips, uh, tulips over there, and daffodils. That's yes, beautiful. yes, definitely. Yeah. And we're gonna switch it around. You get to see our meals. Here we are again. Hi, yeah. everybody. So we're gonna tell you what we're having for our meal. Ella, why don't you start? Well, I love tuna fish, so I have a tuna fish salad, and this is the avocado tuna fish, avocado tuna fish sandwich with the salad on the side, and looks really, really yummy. So we're taking a break from cooking today. There we go. Yeah, no cooking for Mother's Day. No, we. I want to dig in, Mary. This salad looks terrific. It's got all kinds of lettuces, baby lettuce, uh, and I see um, uh, a little uh, cherry. Uh, oh, we've got to get the fork over here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And it's got all kinds of vegetables. I like the way they slice the cucumbers. Uh, I think that's the cucumber, isn't it? Yeah. Look it's at the, the way avocado. they slice. Isn't it avocado? Is it? Let me taste it. No, cucumber. Oh, cucumber. That's just the way they slice oh. it. Mm -hmm. Plenty of carrots, which is really good for for your eyes. Carrots, yes, carrot thing. definitely. And I got the cherry tomatoes here. And the sandwich looks great. Oh, yes. Look at the sandwich. Look at everything there. And it's I great. think this is, uh, that's got to be, I think that's probably beef pops. Oh, See here? Oh, yes. And we got all kinds of baby lettuces. And um, let me see, spinach. Oh, yeah, I see spinach too. High in iron. Which is very so, yeah. healthy. So, yeah. Smudge back everyone. Bon appetit. Yes. And then I, we, we have, have my meal now, which I was in the mood for breakfast because mm -hmm. I love my breakfast. So, here we go. All right. Ooh, looks yummy. Uh, I got French toast and, of course, with maple syrup. And I got to have my butter. I love my butter. But look mm. at all the fruit there. The delicious berries, blueberries, blueberries strawberries, strawberries. Walnuts, and it has a in walnuts, yes. and I have a nice strawberry sauce here. So I am just anxious to <laughs> dig right in all the beautiful and excellent antioxidants in this meal. All the vitamins and, too. Um, Lots of vitamins. Yes, I'm just ready to dig in and bon appetit. These are the last words of this episode. Okay, so Mary picked out a few quotes, very nice quotes. So, all that I am or ever hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. And this was by Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president of the United States. Very, very, very yes. nice. Beautiful quote. A mother thinks about her children day and night, even if they are not with her and will love them in a way they may never understand. And this is by a gnome. Happy Mother's Day, dear Mother Mary, the mother of all mothers. Thank you for being our ever-loving, caring, and faithful mom. Oh, to all the moms, to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. The ones on earth and in heaven. Yes. yes, bless the ones in heaven and all the moms here on earth. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye, everybody. Bye. That's all, folks.